Hi everyone, it's Therese. I am back with another video and I'm here to share my uh, Julie Nutting Tag for the year of Julie Nutting Tags <laughs> for um, uh, Donna who's powered by Creativity, uh, Sparkling Shar, and Karen Small Crafting. They're having a year long swap. Um, it's non-committal so you don't have to join in every month but this gives me a reason to craft um, with my Julie Nodding Dolls every month. So there's a theme every month and um, we always create a month ahead. So in November we're creating for December and the theme is Christmas, obviously. So uh, let me show you the doll I used. I used candy um, and I thought she was perfect for this holiday season. I haven't used her yet, so I thought what a perfect opportunity. I used papers from Hobby Lobby I used this one. This is a scrap piece of paper, and um, and this one for my background. Um, it is, I believe, it's Paper Studio. Oh no, this is my, um, me and my big ideas, and this is Paper Studio. Um, I use this for my doll's dress, um, and a quick tip on dark paper. Use um, black detailed embossing, um, heat embossing, because it turns shiny and it's easy to fussy cut. So that is my quick tip because I destroyed this paper. <laughs> I couldn't see <laughs> my stamped uh, doll and I couldn't fussy cut the dress out and it was hor a horrible mess. And I just want to give you that tip that I finally figured out. <laughs> Okay, um, I used some things from my stash, um, and this is the Dollar Tree. This is from the Dollar Tree, and I think um, there was another ribbon that I can't seem to find in my stash of stuff, and I can't seem to find it. It's a... Um, ribbon that says believe. Um, I also used this from Michael's. I was looking for a different set but I couldn't find it. Um, so I just settled for this and I'm satisfied with it. I used red um, tinsel uh, embossing powder. Here's some leftover lace that I used. Um, some stamps from my sash. This one is a was the night before Christmas and I don't think you can see that um, very well. There you go. Um, and um, these are Studio G stamps um, that I've had in my stash forever. I want to start using my things. Okay, so here is my stamp or <laughs> my tag. Um, uh, let's see. So the size of the tag is three and three fourths by nine and a quarter. Very nice size for these tags. Um, hmm. I added the paper to the background. I inked the edges with um, distress stains. I mean, inks. <laughs> um, I paper pieced her um, with that paper and I am heat emboss the detailed black embossing powder. I colored her up with uh, my Copics. Um, I did her skin and her hair. Here's the bow from the Dollar Tree. Here's the lace um, because if you notice on the stamp there is like a little ruffle here and I just cut that out and also on her um, sleeves and I cut that out as well and I did add it add the um, 
what do you call it? <laughs> the lace to her sleeves. And it's, it just adds a pretty detail to the doll. And um, there's the Santa hat. Now these snowflakes are from the Dollar Tree. I think they're little ornaments for the um, Dollar Tree tree. <laughs> I added some of those sprigs and some flat back pearls to it. And I'll, um, sh there. there you go. And then here is that stamp um, that I used with the red embossing powder. And there is the other um, snowflake. I just love how they turned out. Um, and then here is that stamp. This says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Um, I did ink the edges and I trimmed it out with my my handy dandy deco scissors, which I was not aware that Tim Holtz has a deco um, gelatine um, paper trimmer. And hmm, I think I want that for Christmas <laughs> this year. That's on my 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 uh, my wish list. Um, so I stamped the background um, with the "Twas the Night Before Christmas" stamp inked it up, made it look vintage. I added this um, charm that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love it. It is perfect. Um, here's that ribbon that I could not find the spool. It's somewhere <laughs> in this piles of stuff. Um, and I added the, the lace to the top here. Oh, and then here's that pretty trim. Somebody, I show, I was showing this to some girls that I craft online with and they said those look like um, little light bulbs and I was like oh my gosh that is such a neat idea. So they do kind of look like green and red light bulbs that go all the way up the tag. Love it. So on the back I added more of that lace trim. I had did, I have done la 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 la. <laughs> I had made this um, tag for my my Christmas collab that I was just in, and I added it to the back of the of this tag, and I thought it just fit perfectly. Um, if you want, um, go to my gingerbread Christmas collab, um, and in October, and I show how I did that. Um, and then I added a little pocket and I added my information and I don't know why I keep adding glue back down here, but it still doesn't do anything. <laughs> anyway, added my information and um, that's my back of my tag. So I really love how this tag turned out. It's like the my all-time favorite tag that I've created so far in this collaborate, oh, collaboration for this swap. And I hope my partner enjoys it. So I want to thank everybody for stopping by. If you're interested, I'll link Donna's um, channel down below. So I believe one of her videos will share all the things you'll need. Um, and I think she shares her email on her video. So go check her out and, um, and see what all the wonderful ladies have done for this um, tag swap. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you on my next video. Bye everyone.